Hi again! Second week of Lent. We are glad to see you. Yes. February 28th. Yeah, we even know what day it is. <laughs> we're good. So, this week we're back, and I wanted to check in and see how things went for week one. So, did you guys get your cross decorated? Looks like Susan needs to do her homework still. I know. <laughs> I want to, if you guys want to share some pictures or describe to me what you guys have done to set up your worship space, I think that would be really neat to see. I'd love to see it. We yeah. can definitely share that with everybody. Yeah, that would, that be, would be great. Yeah. So we are back and we are talking about bread this week. So you have in your pamphlet some recipes, one single marker by itself, and a plate. Now, our plate is to put our bread on, but first we get to decorate it. So on our plate, or last week I asked you guys to think about what good things can you do or do you do? What are your talents and how do you look after your people around you? How do you look after yourself? What are your talents? That's the best word, I think. Yeah. So that is the first thing I want you guys to write around the outside of your plate on this nice lip. There's a gold line, it's hard to see, but then just inside there, before it's flat on the bottom, is what good things are, what things are good about you? What are your talents? And then older kids or adults, if you want to also, on the flat part of your plate, add some things that maybe aren't so good, that you don't feel happy about, or that make you nervous. Some of the big things like maybe it's being a bad listener. Maybe sometimes it's bad sharing. Mine is listening for sure. I cut everybody off when they're speaking. And so that would be something that I want to release during Lent and I want to do less of instead of trying to give up food because that's not happening in our house. <laughs> so that's my first challenge for you guys is your plate. I've added a video clip to show you how to use these special Sharpies. They're Sharpie oil paint. You Ooh. guys, oh yeah, there's fancy ones. But there's an instruction of how to set this so it's dishwasher, dishwasher safe and it's permanent marker on your plate. That is so cool. I can't Super wait. Super fun. Yeah. And here is our bread things. So we have two types of bread if you look at the top. We have unleavened and we have leavened. But what does that mean? Leavened bread is the fluffy kind of bread. When we think of bread, that's bread. It's soft, it's squishy, it makes perfect sandwiches. Sometimes it's those really nice steamy biscuits you pull apart, that's leavened bread. It's bigger when you finish baking it than when you put it in the oven. What kinds of things do we use that leavens bread? Do you guys know? The recipes I gave you have yeast and baking powder. So one's a chemical reaction and one is a natural living organism that makes everything fluff up when it has a, well, another kind of chemical reaction. <laughs> but it's a chemical reaction. But then we also have unleavened bread. And this is what they would have eaten in the time of Jesus because they didn't use yeast a lot. That would have been a really fancy thing. And they didn't use baking powder. So an unleavened bread is flat and has no rising. Do you remember? The other time that we talked about unleavened bread, and that was, and I'm trying to think if we did it just recently or not, but we used, when did we use the, maybe it was last year, I guess, but the reason, one of the reasons that um, the, at the Monday, Thursday meal, which is on in Holy Week, so that's four days before the resurrection, they um, always use unleavened bread because it's reminding the people that when they left Egypt, they didn't have time. Remember when they had to just run and leave? And so they didn't have time to bake bread. All they could do was grab, they could only make like the, they said, okay, we're gonna be let free. Make as much bread as fast as you can because you, you'll know, only have enough food that we can take with us. And so they made unleavened bread and that's why we um, remember unleavened bread on Monday, Thursday. And we'll learn more about Monday, Thursday. So that is why we're thinking of unleavened bread. And so we are also thinking about the bread that was shared at the Last Supper as well. And that probably would have been unleavened bread as well. So if you think about pita, pitas, mm -hmm. that's a lot of what it would have been like, yeah, what they ate. Because it's cool. Yeast comes from the air. It's in the air all around you. And 
but you have to gather it and you have it, it takes more time and effort than to make unleavened bread. So, and I am just going to say that, you know, so guess what I gave up for, I'm trying to give up for Lent because besides like, there's a lot of things about me that I'm trying to do better at, but this is one thing that also you can do besides giving up bad they are not, I hate using the word bad, but things Art. that you wish, yeah, things about you that you're not happy with. Another thing that is you can do is that things that aren't good for other people. And so I'm trying really hard to use as little single use plastic mm. for 40 days as I can. And already it's, it's hard. There's a lot of stuff. So I'm going to show you the bag at the end of the, at, on uh, Good Friday, I'm going to show you the bag of how much I was able to use it only um, so that I'm trying to have as little single-use plastic as I can. Neat. Yeah, so that's I what like I'm getting that. Yeah. And that's good stewardship, too. Mm -hmm. We get to exactly. be good stewards for our environment. So yeah. that's a good thing, too. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So more ideas if you guys are still stuck. Yeah. So, yeah. Good stuff. Okay. I think that's it. I Do we want to it. go through the reading? Oh, okay. The sorry. Answer? Yeah, sorry. Sure. Just okay. like we did for last week. Yeah. So... So remember we talked last week, we had the wine or the grape juice at the Last Supper, and today we're talking about the bread at the Last Supper. And so that is often what we call communion. Or that's what we call communion at church. So some of you folks have had communion. And so also when we drank the wine, it was to remind us of Jesus. And Jesus said also when we broke the bread, it's to remind, him of, or remind us of him. So our action today will be, instead of just blowing out one candle. We're in the second week of Lent, so we're gonna blow out two candles, and then you can say, thank you, Jesus, for helping us understand how much God loves us. And then you can put your plate into your worship space to remind you the bread and all those things that you wrote on it, and that can be your reminder of the bread that Jesus said, every time that we eat bread, we are to remember him. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Thank you, guys. Okay, thank you. See you next week.